In addition to the alarming high number of cases recorded last year, the World Health Organization estimates that about 30% of patients with TB in Namibia go undiagnosed, untreated or unreported. The tuberculosis disease prevalence survey will therefore also help Namibia to generate accurate results to step up TB care and prevention efforts. The variables used in the survey to detect TB is the best known method to determine the country's real TB disease burden. Health and Social Services Deputy Minister Juliet Kavetuna called on all Namibians for cooperation during the survey exercise. The survey will target at least 34,000 people in the age groups of 15 and above who will be examined for symptoms of TB as well as taking x-rays. The team will be selected from various clusters to represent the country's population. The success of the survey therefore hinges to the support of all individuals within these clusters. For this, for this reason, I therefore urge and encourage all individuals in the selected clusters to participate in the survey. After all, it is a rare opportunity to have a state-of-the-art X-ray screening for the lung diseases being brought to the community. Results will be available immediately. After we have uh, conducted our screening at the cluster, we will then uh, debrief the local leadership, including the local Ministry of Health staff, and also sort of hand over any clients that will have been identified with problems so that the local um, health team takes over the management of these patients. Voluntary HIV testing will also be done. The survey, which is supported by a number of organizations, will start this month and will continue until December. Evelyn Paulus, NBC News, Venduk.